Hey guys, Nurse Alley here. Uh, today I wanted to cover what a monthly budget looks like for us and how I do my monthly buzz budget. So I'm gonna get right into it and show you how we do it. Um, <laughs> I do wanna say too, I know the way I'm filming is totally not correct. There's other ways to do it. Technology is not my thing, guys. I'm a nurse by trait. Growing up, anytime I had issues with my computers, my brothers fixed it. They're very tech savvy. I'm not at all. Um, but I hope you can appreciate that I'm trying um, to just be able to share this info and get it out any way that I know how or am able to. So with that, we're going to get right into it. Okay. So I'm using Google uh, Sheets and um, they have a sheet in there that you can use for doing your monthly budget. So pretty simple, that's what I've used. Um, so we'll get right into it. Uh, the budget that I have set is gonna be about $3,500 per month uh, with a planned income coming in of about 7,800 that is, um, basically after taxes and health insurance. I do not include health insurance in my budget. It would be depressing to include, so I don't. Um, so the first thing you're gonna see is food. This is groceries, that's all that is. Um, and groceries, as I've covered in previous vi videos, is $550 a month. Could it be lower? Definitely. Um, was it much higher at one point? Yeah, it was a lot higher at one point. So 550 is okay for now. Um, definitely a goal would be to get it lower. Gifts, wedding, birthday, etc. cetera. Uh, today was actually a graduation party. Um, that's about $75 a month, I would say, when you average all the months. Some months don't have any events, some months have two events. Um, I told you I left health insurance blank because that comes out pre-tax. Mortgage, uh, <laughs> I could wipe out the mortgage, very close to doing that. I think it's, I said 4,600 in the last video. I showed that to you guys. Haven't done it yet, so I still reflect it here, but I will touch on what um, our savings would be if we weren't paying this. So 1360 is the mortgage with escrow, with taxes, house insurance is included in that figure. Gas upkeep for cars and insurance for car. We have two cars, they're older cars, they're paid off cars. Uh, I think I have comp inclusion on mine. Becca's just is collision. Um, so gas is about 150 a month. Upkeep for the cars, I think I figured out about $100 per month, about 1200 a year for upkeep. And then uh, insurance for both cars is about 45 bucks a month. Not bad, but again, we drive old cars. Personal and programs. This is kiddo. This is a lot of times us splurging on little things for her or um, programming and things like that that she likes to do. So that's about 75 bucks a month. Pets. Uh, we have chickens. We have lots of chickens. Too many chickens. It's not my hobby, but um, it brings Becca and Maddie a lot of joy. Um, that's like probably 30 to $35 a month for the chickens. And then we have a dog and the dog is really not bad at all. It's like 15 bucks a month for her food. And then we like supplement with like chicken and stuff that we buy that's included in our grocery bill. Um, electricity, water and propane. Electricity is about 75 bucks a month. Um, pretty, um, energy efficient home. Like we have all of the CFL bulbs and... Um, the house was built in 2012, so it's, you know, it's relatively new and pretty efficient that way. Um, water, water is for our filtration system. We do have a well, but the well came back high with arsenic when we had it tested. So we pay $23 a month to have a reverse osmosis system that has maintenance and gets service. So, um, could we probably just buy a system? Yeah, but we haven't yet. So 20, 23 bucks a month for that. Propane is um, basically like 50 bucks a month is propane. Obviously in the summer, we don't go through much at all. In the winter, we go through more, although we primarily burn wood. Uh, and the wood we get for free because we have some acreage and we chop our own trees. Um, and that's something that we basically work on all summer long is getting firewood. So um, keeps our propane lower than it otherwise would be. 
daycare is $60 a day, um, three days a week. Uh, that's basically 12 daycare days that you pay for per month. So that's sitting at 720. Debt, uh, we don't have any debt. Um, I would assume this would mean like credit card payments or loan payments. Um, so I didn't include anything because anything that we have for debt, it, it like credit card debt, <clears throat> We pay our credit cards every month, but we put groceries on our credit cards, we put gas on our credit cards, eating out on our credit cards, anything we can put on our credit cards, we put on our credit cards because they're cash back, we pay them every month. I have never paid interest on either one of our credit cards, and I don't ever plan to. Um, and I know some people are like, oh, you gotta like keep a balance because if you, if you have a balance, then you can build your credit. Our credit is over 800 as a couple, it, it's and we pay the credit card every month so I, I don't really buy into that whole thing uh, cell phones 80 bucks a month for two cell phones with unlimited everything kind of stuff um, sorry about that uh, Hulu um, it, it with the cell phones too it's AT&T it's a family plan um, there's like I don't know five of us on that plan and I just give that money to my mom uh, who had previously been set up with that AT&T account when my brother worked there. Subscriptions, Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, Apple, um, 23 bucks a month. Uh, we have a kid. <laughs> uh, we don't pay for cable like many millennials. Um, so this is what we do. Subscription services. The internet is 75 bucks a month. Uh, which I'm not really happy about. You know, I used to pay 45 bucks a month for a decent speed internet, uh, and they've just upped it and upped it and upped it. And um, there's basically a monopoly where I live, so switching providers is is difficult, um, and you're limited in what you can switch to. Um, eating out is about 75 bucks a month. That's lower than it's been. Um, 2020 was definitely a good year for us as far as eating out expenses go. Uh, and then paychecks. So I, I had obviously already said um, that's our paychecks basically after um, taxes come out. Um, so this shows you what you save every month. So 4267 um, from what we make to what we spend, 4267 And then I did the math because I'm wondering when that mortgage is gone, how much will I be saving every month? And the answer is fifty six twenty seven dollars um, is the amount of money that we'd be able to put away based on our current spending. Um, so, I, you know, five grand you can do a lot with. We could save up for another property. We could um, throw a lot of that in mutual funds or, or different things like that. Um, and I, I do want to say, you know, we, we do put money in retirement accounts as it is. Um, but it's something that we could prioritize more if we chose to do that. Um, yeah, guys, so this is it. I just wanted to share how I use Google's spreadsheets to do our monthly budget. And you can too. If you've got a Gmail account, it's you just go click on Google Sheets and this is an option that you can use. I hope you've found this video helpful. If you have, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.